Good morning you guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Brie and today I'm going to be showing you a keto what I eat in a day. Um, so it is currently 8 in the morning right now. I have not had anything to eat or drink so I'm going to take you from the very beginning of my day to the very end of my day. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss when I upload a video. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first things first, I do intermittent fasting. Um, I don't do a crazy time where I only allow myself to eat between like 1 and 4 p.m. I used to do that, I know. I'm trying to just be more aware of when I'm eating, when I'm hungry versus when I'm not hungry, things like that. So I notice in the morning that if I wait until about 9, 10 in the morning to have my first meal or to eat anything I stay full throughout the day for so much longer I have way more energy it just benefits me the most so that's what I've been trying to do every morning that being said I start off every morning with apple cider vinegar I mix two like teaspoons in with hot water and if I have a lemon I'll do half a lemon squeeze in there as well so that's the first thing that I'll have while I'm fasting Yes, you can have it while you're fasting. It won't break your fast. You're totally okay. I do not drink apple cider vinegar to lose weight. I drink it to help with my digestion, my gut health, my gallbladder, things like that. Especially with my gallbladder, it helps me not have pain throughout the day, anything like that. And I feel like it just helps me digest food a lot better. And it's just honestly good all around. So if you aren't having apple cider vinegar every day or at least every other day, I highly suggest it. Just make sure you are drinking it through a straw or diluting it with water just because it's really harsh on your teeth. So make sure that you're mixing it with something. And then I will also, once I'm done drinking that, I will have a new coffee that I found. So this is the perfect keto instant keto coffee. I don't know if you can see the flavor. Oh, there we go. It's in the flavor French vanilla. The macros are actually so good on this, so 7 grams of fat, 80 calories, it looks like there's 1 net carb and 1 gram of protein, and you can drink this while you're fasting, so I will literally just mix this with hot water and a little bit of stevia if I want it extra sweet, and then I'll just drink that along with my apple cider vinegar in the morning, and that's all I will have until I have my first meal later on, so... These are amazing. They come in these little packets, so I honestly just carry them wherever I go. I have one in my backpack at all times. I'll bring them to work with me. They're just so easy to just have with you, and all you have to do is mix them with either cold or hot water. I prefer hot, but it's seriously the best. And for anybody who doesn't like drinking black coffee, because I know that's all we can have when we're intermittent fasting, this is going to be great because it actually tastes good. There's a mocha flavor that I love that also tastes like hot chocolate, but they actually are enjoyable to drink. So this is what I start my morning out with. Mm, it's so good. So those two are the only things that I will have while I'm fasting. Other than that, I just drink water. And then after about 9, 10 a.m., I'll have my first meal. I'm going to go work out right now. I'm going to work out fasted. And then uh, I will see you guys when we make breakfast. Okay, guys, so I just got finished with my workout. I did legs today. Um, it's about 9.50, so I am going to have my first meal. So most mornings, I usually just do the same thing. I usually have a bulletproof coffee and then an avocado protein shake. I'm going to flip it and do... Normally, I'll have my bulletproof coffee first and then my shake, but I'm going to do the opposite this morning, so I'm going to have my shake first. So I will show you how to make that really fast. So you guys have probably seen me make this hundreds of times. I honestly eat the same thing every single morning for breakfast, but it's just what I like. It's what works for me. So I will show you what I'm going to use. So I use a full avocado. I'm going to add protein. I use the Quest Protein and Salted Caramel. For the coconut milk, I use this one. 
You can also use almond milk. You can do the blend that has both coconut milk and almond milk. It's honestly just whatever you prefer. I'm going to add a little bit of stevia, and then I'm also going to add some of the Perfect Keto Collagen in the flavor Salted Caramel. I also have a discount code. I will pop it up here. So if you guys are ever wanting to try any of these products, I will link leave the link down below. But this is all I use. So let's go ahead and make it. Okay, so that's what I do for my first breakfast meal. I will pop the macros up on the screen here. It's such a good source of like healthy fat with the avocado, the coconut milk, everything like that. And it's so freaking good, you guys. So if you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in a little bit when we make our bulletproof coffee. So it's a little after 11 o'clock right now. I just finished getting ready for the day. I just have a couple other videos I need to film and then a few errands I need to run. But I already fin I already had my avocado protein shake, so now I am about to make my bulletproof coffee. Normally I would have my bulletproof coffee before I would have my shake, but I was super hungry this morning. I decided to do my protein shake first, and now I'm going to have the bulletproof coffee. This usually holds me over for quite a few hours, which I love. It keeps me full, it gives me energy. I just feel like it's that like little refresher that I need in the middle of the day after it's been a few hours since I had my last cup of coffee and I'm just needing another pick-me-up. So let's go ahead and I will show you how to, I personally make my bulletproof coffee. First things first is I use a Keurig to make my coffee. <laughs> I'm just going to take my old one out and I think I'm going to do another blonde sunrise. These are my favorite. They're not like too strong. And then these like caffeine plus ones, maybe. These are also really good too. So these are the K-cups that I use. I am just going to put that in there. And then I use one of my magic bullet cups just because we're going to blend it up afterwards okay so now that we have our cup of coffee i am going to show you what i put in mine there are a million different ways you can make your bulletproof coffee. This is just personally how I make mine and how I like it. But there are seriously like so many different things you can add into it, take out, just depending on you and what you're wanting throughout your day. So what I add in mine is I do an almond milk creamer. This is the kind that I use. The macros are not the best on this, but that's okay. We give, we take some. <laughs> We win, we lose some. So it is 15 calories per tablespoon, has 0 0.5 grams of fat, 2 grams of carbs, and 2 grams of sugar. So like I said, not the best. There is another brand, it's called Nut Pods. I really do like their creamer a lot. It's just kind of out of the way to go and get it and go to a store just for that one thing. So I just go with this instead and I just get this at Target. It's super good. And then I will also go in with some more of the Perfect Keto Salted Caramel Collagen. This just makes it taste a hundred times better. And then something new that I've recently started adding in is the Perfect Keto Salted Caramel Base. Technically this is an exogenous ketone. I don't use this to put my body into ketosis. I use this to give me energy, basically more like brain fuel. It just kind of helps make me feel better, have more energy throughout the day. So I love adding this. I will add a little bit of stevia and then I will also add coconut oil and this so this is the kind I use I just got this one at Walmart I am actually almost out of it so I'm gonna need to replace it soon I really like this one I feel like most coconut oils are good this is just the non hydrogenated coconut oil 
I'm not sure if it really matters, but this is the one that I use. So that is everything that I put into my coffee. Once I have everything in, I just blend it all up and then you are good to go. And then that is basically it as far as my Bulletproof coffee goes. Like I said, you can add whatever you want. You can use grass-fed butter. You can use ghee instead of coconut oil. You don't have to put creamer. Like There's so many different ways you can make it. Um, sometimes I will put protein powder in. Sometimes I will do a different creamer. Let me show you. This power creamer is also really good so it's like a pre-made keto creamer but it has grass-fed ghee coconut oil and and mct oil so that's an awesome way to get your fat up um it totally just depends on what you're wanting what you're looking for and how full you're wanting to be or how many calories you're trying to consume if you're wanting to up your calories or you need to up your fat throughout the day a bulletproof coffee is a great way to do that especially with adding like coconut oil and everything in i will pop the macros for this up here on the screen but yeah this is one of my favorites like i said it gives me energy it keeps me full throughout the day until i'm ready to eat my lunch so this is a great like midday pick me up but yeah, you can also add like cinnamon. Honestly, you can add whatever. Yeah, that is basically all I do as far as breakfast slash mid-afternoon snack. Videos that I need to film, so I'm gonna drink this while I film. I need to go run to the store and get a couple things for lunch and dinner. And then I will see you guys in a little bit and we can make lunch. Okay guys, it's been a few hours since I last talked to you. Last thing we were doing was making our Bulletproof coffee. Um, that was around like 11.30, I think. It's now almost 2. Um, I've also changed my outfit, so just ignore that. I've been filming videos all day and getting a bunch of work done for YouTube and Instagram, so it's been a super productive day. I'm honestly not too hungry, but I'm going to eat anyways because I don't want to eat dinner too late tonight. So I'm just going <laughs> to eat my lunch right now. So for lunch, it's going to be a little boring. Uh, most of the time, I am at work during lunch, so I have to bring something with me or meal prep something that's easy and I can just bring and put in the fridge at work. So today, I am going to be having a, like a hot dog, a brat, and then a almond butter packet. I know it sounds so exciting. <laughs> I promise it's not that bad and it keeps me pretty full but like I said I'm not that hungry anyways so a smaller lunch is great and then that allows me to have more calories for dinner that way I can eat that way I can eat a bigger meal later on so let's make lunch okay so for lunch the it's an Italian snack what am I saying? Is that even English? Okay, so this is what I'm having for lunch. Each one is 160 calories. I'll pop the macros up for everything on the side as well. But it has 11 grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, and then one net carb and one gram of sugar. So they're not too bad. I'm probably just going to have one of these. And then on the side, I recently found these at Target and they are so freaking good. So it is just a collagen almond butter in the flavor of vanilla. And it's made up with the vital protein. So I've never actually had those like on their own, but this is so good. Each one of these has 180 calories, 14 grams of fat three net carbs, two grams of sugar, and then eight grams of protein. So they're actually pretty decent. They're pretty decent, it's not too bad. So this together, like I said, I'll leave the macros, calories, everything up on the side. But yeah, that is what I'm going to have for lunch. I'm also going to have a water with these, I've talked about these before, but these are just the meal drop electrolytes in the flavor Berry Blast. These are super yummy, so that's what I have in here. And yeah, kind of a boring lunch, but it's fine. That's just kind of 
what is working for me right now. I will try and switch up my lunches at least three times a week. So I'll just kind of rotate through meals. And then same with dinners, I'll just kind of rotate through. But yeah. I just finished eating my lunch. I'm still a little hungry, so I am going to have a snack. So I got these new bars from Perfect Keto. Let me show you. So these are the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor, and they are so freaking good. So there is 11 grams of protein. And let me see the macros. Okay, here are the macros for you. So, there's 18 grams of fat. There's only two net carbs, one gram of sugar, and then 11 grams of protein. And each one has 230 calories. So, they're a little high in calories, but these are so good. If I don't have time to meal prep before work or brings or like have something to bring with me for lunch while I'm going to work or if I'm going to work I will honestly just grab one of these even if I'm just like heading out the door for the day or anything I'll just bring one of these just in case I get hungry or I can't stop anywhere for lunch these are seriously my go-to their salted caramel flavor is super good too so I am just gonna snack on one of these it is time to cook dinner also, how many times can I change in one video? It's a fun game we're gonna play. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just filming other YouTube videos right now, so I'm like a switching shirt. So just ignore my outfit changes throughout this video. But for dinner, let me grab my phone. Okay, so it's stuffed keto peppers. So basically it's just ground beef bell peppers, swiss cheese, onion, garlic, spinach, and coconut oil. So we are going to attempt to make this. This is my first time ever making it, but we are going to try this together and see how it is. This is the swiss cheese I'm going to be using. I just got this from Target. The spinach. I just have minced garlic already uh, pre-made and then I'm going to be using one green pepper I have some onion in here I'm gonna cut up and then just a bunch of seasoning over here we are going to cook with so what I'm gonna do is cook the meat first add all the seasonings add the onions garlic spinach and then you are gonna grill these separately and then add the meat and everything into this and then add the cheese on top. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, hopefully this is an okay view. Sorry, you can't see much. It's kind of hard for me to film, but all I'm going to do is add a little bit of avocado oil so this is super important when you are making keto foods you want to make sure that you're always cooking with oils so we're just going to add some of that in and then i did defrost this so it's a little cold still but we're just going to dump that in okay while this is cooking i'm going to add a few different things in so I am going to add a little bit of garlic. Again, I just literally eyeball most things. Add as much or as little as you want. It's totally up to your preference. I'm going to add, let I stir this around, I'm gonna add some seasonings as well. This is where you can kind of make it your own and make it how you want it. So for seasonings, I am gonna do a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. You are doing keto, electrolytes are important. You need this. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Just a little. I'm gonna do some garlic salt. I'm gonna do a little bit of onion powder. What is this? Some garlic powder. And then we are just gonna let this cook for a little bit. I'm 
Okay, and then I'm also gonna add in the onions that we chopped up. We are just gonna let this cook, and then when all ready, I will go ahead and add some spinach in as well. All right, the meat is looking good. It is almost done, so now I'm gonna add in the last little bit. I'm going to add in some spinach. I just grabbed a handful, it's not a ton. And then I also just cut up some slices of Swiss cheese just so it melts down a little easier. Rather than just putting it on top, I'm just gonna mix it in with the meat just so it melts. And then I am just gonna stir all of this in. Really good. I am gonna move this over to a bowl and then we are just gonna grill the peppers really fast and then we'll put it all together. Okay, so the peppers are all cooked. We just grilled those for a couple of minutes. I have the meat in this bowl, so I'm just gonna move it over and put it into the peppers. All right, guys, there is our dinner. It turned out pretty good. I'm pretty excited to try it. I will leave the macros for dinner up on the side as I did with everything else. So you can look at that. That is about it for what I eat in the day. For the calories and macros for everything I had today, it was 1,730 calories, which is perfect because I want to be right in that middle range of the 1700s. And then as far as everything else, I had you can see that I had 120 grams of fat 113 grams of protein and then total grams of carbs there was 51 grams so I'm not sure what that is as far as net carbs go it's usually around like 25 or 30 so that is what my meals kind of look like this is how I've been eating for the last couple of weeks and I've seen the most results with it. If you haven't seen any of my other what I eat in a day videos, I will make sure to leave those linked below so you can get some more other ideas of yummy keto meals that you can eat. Um, I know being on keto it's kind of overwhelming so I will list a bunch of those down below for you guys. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more videos. Also, if you aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you're doing that. I post so many transformation pictures, recipes, motivational things on there as well. So make sure you're following me on my Instagram. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully you got some new meal ideas. And let me know in the comments below if you are going to try any of them. Hope everybody has a great day. Bye. Okay guys, I just wanted to hurry and mention. So Perfect Keto is giving you guys a 20% off discount code for the next 48 hours off of, off of my favorite Perfect Keto products. I'm so excited. So if you guys have ever wanted to try any of their products, now is the time. I will leave the code right up here and the link for everything down below.